About 15 minutes ago, I got confirmation from the Buffalo Fire Commissioner that indeed human remains rather were discovered here at the scene of yesterday's devastating fire. The excavator you see in the background used to pick through the wreckage since that fire yesterday fell silent before 10 o'clock this morning. And at that point, personnel from the medical examiner's office moved in. We watched them place some evidence markers, take some pictures, take a closer look at uh, down into the ruins there. A tent has been set up. Now, yesterday we talked to the owner of what was this building, which housed a longtime printing business and a rooming house. He said he had six tenants in the rooming house and that uh, he identified the one who was missing as a Curtis Brown. He described him as being in his mid 50s and in ill health. Now, we want to say once again that according to the fire commissioner, human remains were found. That doesn't mean it was indeed the person who lived here. They won't be able to con uh, confirm that, obviously, until after a comprehensive and thorough autopsy. Reporting live from Elmwood Avenue, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. All right, Dave, and we should let everyone know we expect to have an 1130 update from police officials. We'll carry that live on our website and app.